is a little slanted again. Come on, Jiyun Crane M3. I trusted you. All right, Stefan Schober, good morning. Fairy Elephant, hello. Good morning. Fox is here. RJ is here. Robert T, good morning. Kaz, Kaz, good morning. RJ also saying hi to Norell, so that means Norell is here, right? Good morning, Norell. D. Luate, hi. Nariza, hi. Uh, weather's much nicer than it was last couple of days. And if the weather's to be believed, or the forecast is to be believed, it's not going to go as hot as it did in the last couple of days for the duration of the 10 day forecast, but you know, we'll see. Pete and Joan Allen, Pamela, Sue Pitchford, Giggle Bunny, Moses Wilson, Alexander, Anna Scola, Albert, video maker, that's an interesting last name. I'm kidding. Good morning. It's only me. Popping in for a second, no worries. Hopefully everything's okay. We'll see you Friday. Nightbot with the K is here. Good morning to you. Jezereth, hi. Good morning. This pink toes here. Good morning to you. Adam has made it. It's an early morning. Good morning. Jacques Small. Hi. George H. Good morning. All is good. Just a bit tired out. Huh? I think it's more of the uh, working two weeks in a row that's sapping my energy, but week's almost done. Although I do have to go to the dentist today. That's not helping my energy levels either. <laughs> let's uh, let's go back a little bit. Let's see. Chris, Bruno, Quentin, too hot. Doug, Sandra T. Ah, okay, it's only me. Good. Matt B, good morning. Open Plumbing, hi, hey, June Flowers. The Twenty Dollar Super Sticker, thank you, June, for your support. Always appreciate it. Very kind of you. Narell says it was minus 0.3. I guess that's Celsius. So still above freezing. No, no, just below freezing. Sorry, just below freezing. Huh. Gotta get zero degrees Celsius, right, to be proper freezing. Yeah, too hot yesterday was pink toe. Robert Lewis, hi, Blee Tastics here, good morning. Yeah, Adam, uh, I guess they're gonna do their deep cleaning. Let's cross over. It might be nicer on the other side of the street. I always get stuck under that scaffolding. There's nowhere to go. Christina's here. Blessed MWS. I'm hey. Morning. Here's our landscape. Hey, they took down all the uh, overgrown trees down here. This place is completely overgrown. So somebody's maintaining it. Why? It's not like they ever do anything here. I wonder why they took down all the plants. Darby was 17 months in membership. Hey, Darby. 
Thanks for that extended support. Appreciate it. Dora, good morning. Khaled Muhammad in Egypt, hi. Maybe, Adam, I guess we'll have to keep an eye on this. Yeah, we'll get through the park, I think. Let's go to the middle because no cars are coming from the left. They're all waiting to turn. There's a car coming from my right, but he has to stop because the cars are not turning. Okay. I mean, I recall they almost started developing something in that land, but uh, I guess it didn't stick. Hey, what's that building over there? It's got some covered terraces on the corner. It's 75 degrees right now according to the bus stop, I guess. Nightbot's not far off. But uh still a bit warm. You too, Robert. Nate, good morning. In the UN building's on my right, in case you're wondering. And all its rectangular, glassy glory. <laughs> hey, you know, we're outdoors, it's fine. It's all part of the uh, ambiance. Is that their main deliberation hall? I don't know. All right, I'll start crossing back because I feel like otherwise we'll get moved over to the side more. 44th? I mean, I, I could, but I'm going to walk a little more north. I'll try, Adam. It's between 2nd and 3rd. My plan was to go to 51st Street today. Fang is here. Good morning. NYC for grad school. What can 2500 a month get you? Ah, uh, I guess it depends where. Did you really the one that mentioned this a few months ago? Because I was, I, I think I said if your uh, school offers any housing to try to sign up with them first for subsidized prices. Otherwise, you're probably looking at a studio if you're going to be close to the school if it's in city. Might be able to get something bigger, but you're going to have to go farther out. Mark Bannister, good morning. All is good on my end. How are you? Andy James coming here for a week. Nice. Not that far away. What's in my shoe? I don't like this. Oh, we'll see. If I have to shake something out of my shoe, I will. Tim Allen has made it again. Good morning, Timothy. I 
I think, uh, yeah, probably, Adam, just like the one in my eyes that attracts dust all the time. Wayne Cass, good morning. Yeah, I was looking more into it, and uh, I think the people who were saying the tree on Monday morning stream with those nuts being a Polonia were correct. I'm just so used to seeing Polonia with even bigger leaves. But I mean, I guess it's not always the case. So I was, uh, I was wrong to doubt you. <laughs> but it had another name, I forget what it was, with a C. Calipo or something? I don't know. What I didn't get into is if they're edible or not. Yeah, I didn't get that far. Or I read it and don't remember it. <laughs> All right, 49th Street. Two more blocks and I'm going left. Sebastian, good morning. Colleen, good morning. Yes, happy hump day. Fernando, morning to you too. Approaching 51st Street, then we'll go left. Precious pets is release. <laughs> Michelle Denny, good morning. Okay. Five two zero, welcome back. Has been a while. All is good with us. How are you and yours? I wonder historically why so many trees being planted in New York are ginkgo trees. Why beep? Why beep? School reopens today in northern Texas. Really? You guys go back to school in the beginning of August? <clears throat> well, now we're in the middle third of August, I guess. Kind of. Oliver Rack, hello. I already forgot everything. Uh, this townhome's for sale. It's quite tall. 312 East 51st Street. I mean, it's what? One, two, three, four, five. Ah, it's still within uh, legal limitations of not requiring an elevator. Come on, fix. There we go. I didn't even look at the address, so now I don't know what to tell you to look up. Hey. Public schools usually come back here by around uh, Labor Day, after Labor Day. There's a bit of a screaming going on across the street, so I'm just gonna pop over here.
And depending on if I'm targeted or not, I may have to avoid 51st Street, uh, Adam. I'm not sure. Kind of keeping my eye out. Uh, what's better for coverage? I mean, T-Mobile is fine for uh, for big cities, but if you are doing a bunch of driving around the country, you may uh, you may run into more trouble with T-Mobile than AT&T. Dana Lee, hello. Okay, we're on 51st between 2nd and 3rd. I wonder what the location of that would be. So we got to keep our eyes peeled for what I'm looking for. I feel like it is on this side of the street, though. Oh, it's not on this side of the street? Okay. Oh, maybe you're right. I thought it was, based on what I'm seeing. No, you know what? I still don't see anything. I don't know. Where was it? I didn't see anything. Am I on 50th? No, I think I'm on. Am I on 50th? No, it says I'm on 51st. Rihan, hello. Let's see. Should have been there. How did I miss it? All right, it's not that far off the block. Let's try this again. It, it says it's on this side of the street that I'm on. It might have a very narrow, it's right next to the synagogue. It should have been right next to the synagogue. Hold on. I know we don't like to backtrack. Yeah, okay, it's in here. Maybe it's just hard to see because the gates are shut. It's supposed to be a waterfall. It also says Green Acre Park, a private park for public enjoyment. I don't know what that means. Anyway, that's supposed to be a waterfall. I guess it's off. The snowfall here. Yes, it does. In the winters, just not uh, guaranteed. This is a pretty big practice over here. The medical offices of Manhattan had the same acronym as uh, the Marks Off Madison, which I did enjoy. All right, I guess we have to go right from here.
Yeah, I feel like I was also listening for the uh, for the sound of the waterfall too. Maybe that's why I completely missed it. I was expecting a a, a gap, not a fence. But I guess it's a private park, partially. Agers, good morning. Clinton, maybe. I'd have to look into it more. Hup. That was a downward hup. Oh, that's a big lobby. Wow. Right next to the lipstick building. Ryan Davis, hi. Nando, welcome. Did he add him? I don't know. Walk and talk, talk and walk. The lipstick building is getting a makeover. Now, was that the official name of this building? Did the architects who designed it use that as the name, or did that become the name after people saw it? They decided, you know what, everyone calls it lipstick building, we'll just do the same thing. Oh, an official new member, Fernando, thank you. Appreciate the support. Bike bloggers here. Hello. Can somebody ask about PJ Clarks? Is it around here? Yeah, right, right in front of us. Right in front of us. But I want to cross. Time to uh, get across this way. Maybe a block or two more up before we go more west. Joseph Nip, good morning. A standalone little building. PJ Clark's, I wonder how long that'll last. JG Mellon has a much better burger martini. What about JG Wentworth? Is that JG Wentworth or is it? Is it JG Penny. Pennyworth? What was the name of um, uh, Kramer's character? Penny Packer. Penny, Penny Packer. Eight seven seven cash now. Eight seven seven cash now. Paul, good morning. Andre, good morning. The Jab and Stutz building. I don't know how to pronounce that at all. There it is. With an expensive furniture store at the bottom. Ferdinand, hello. Jim Barrows. Good morning. Uh, I already got the new Pixel Buds Pro. Bumble and Bumble. Is that the name of a dating app? I have them and I think they're fine, but now that they cost double the amount of the Pixel Buds A, are they worth double the price? And that I'm not sure about. Yeah, they got noise cancellation, transparency mode, but the fit isn't as good.
Yeah, Seinfeld is, uh, is quite ubiquitous in its uh, permeation of society. Frank White, good morning. But I mean, other than that, the uh, sound quality of the Pixel Buds Pro is good. Not double the price of the Pixel Buds A good. And it's missing features at launch. You know, that, that's one of the things Google always does. They release seemingly incomplete products that, uh, that get updates with firmware that bring them up to where they should have been at launch. I, I think that's a common theme for Google and something I wish they would address. Like, it would be fine if they added new features during the life of the product, but not features that should be there on launch. Like, just to uh, get an EQ that you can adjust manually, you have to wait a few months. I don't know. Galaxy Buds Pro is supposed to be a solid, solid um, true wireless earbuds offering. Is that a new Chick-fil-A? That's a massive Chick-fil-A, two floor. And I think they're putting up a Chick-fil-A. Uh, where did I see it the other day? On Park Avenue and like 30th Street. CR81, welcome. Yeah, their sandwiches aren't uh, aren't my favorite. I feel like Popeyes is my favorite chicken sandwich. It's spicy, spicy chicken sandwich from Popeyes. Casper probably the mattress store brand. I think I don't know if they are still or if that's what their original ones. They're to me they're known as like a mail order mattress. You get a mattress in the mail. There's Bloomingdale's. They have that, uh, I don't know if it's Froyo or something else, something carrots in there. It's supposed to be decent. I forget the full exact name of it. It's a number than the word carrots, I believe. International Plaza, WeWork is here. I don't know if it's one of their main offices or if they just have a WeWork's location here. Cash Jordan also keeps comparing the Popeye sandwich to Burger King chicken sandwich. I don't know why, because they're owned by the same parent company, so it's not like uh, they're just competing against themselves. Same, uh, you're giving the money to the same people, <laughs> I guess. Well, depending on how the franchising works. Happy humble life, hello. Five Guys is the most overrated for Quinton. It's just their, I mean, I haven't had them in a while, but their fries have always been the uh, worst part for me because you just get a, a, gre a bag of grease with a side of fries and it's the main course is the grease. All right, let's go to 60th Street and we'll go towards the park. We're going to go in Central Park and it's very close. Feel vibration? No. RBI, that's the name of the parent company. Got it. Wow, you got the whole uh, little registered uh, huh, things and everything. Amazing. Oh, Happy Humble Life is Nippur. Okay, hello. Uh, isn't that simple learning? Speed bike.
symbol is the word I was looking for, not thingy. We sell ships here, not dinghies. I actually like that Pirates of the Caribbean game that came out on PC, I don't know how long ago, and Xbox. Around the time of the first movie, but it wasn't officially a Pirates of the Caribbean game, it was, uh, it was supposed to be Sea Dogs 2. If any remember, if anybody remembers that nonsense. But I enjoyed it for some reason. Uh, I see some pandas that are taking up a majority of the sidewalk. What is this? Philippe Uptown. No, we are not Uptown. All right, what do they have here? By Philippe Chow, Beijing cuisine family style. Hot and sour soup is 10 bucks? Well, it sounds like they're, like they're trying to make you pay here. Yeah, lo mein, 19 bucks, vegetable lo mein, that's a little, that's a little much. Is this place good? Like, are those prices good for uh, what I'm assuming is an elevated version of American Chinese food? Still sweating today. Oh, it's all about the scene? I see. Thanks, RJ. They do a good king crab leg and a good tuna on rice cake thing? All right. be in the right mood to eat to eat things like crab legs and, and lobster I love them but sometimes I don't want to go through the effort of, uh, of getting through the uh, the shell if uh, that makes sense to anybody I would eat them every day if somebody would, uh, like, uh, feed them to me. That is Central Park in front of us. Hup. I don't know why I'm doing the downward hups. Strand has their little silo stand over here. Scholar's Gate or Stevie. Yes, exactly, Fang. Exactly. The weirdest creatures you've ever seen At the Star Wars, Star Wars Cantina Music and laughter and old Jedi masters at the... I haven't had a hot dog from a street vendor in more than 20 years. I'm not sure exactly why at this point, but mainly because I, I feel like I have to reserve my cash just in case. It's not, it's like my, it's my reserves when I really need cash. So I don't, I don't look to spend it if I don't have to. And I prefer just to uh, use credit. Michelle Mish, good morning. Matilda, good morning.
I mean, do people remember the days of like Napster and Kazaa and LimeWire? You, you would find these parody songs, and uh, half the time they would just be attributed to Weird Al, even though he didn't he didn't make most of these indie parodies, <laughs> like Star Wars Cantina. Ah, uh, these are hexagonal concrete rocks. Wow, look at these elephant deer plants. These are huge. Oh yeah, I keep seeing this Bronx Zoo dinosaur safari thing. I guess this is what they're trying to advertise with some of these. I guess the... Central Park Zoo is somewhat related to the Bronx Zoo. I mean, uh, maybe it's a a branch. <laughs> Michelle Branch. Alex Grogan's good morning. They are doing some stuff today. No. Uh, they're swimming around together. Or sea lions. Is there a pigeon in the park? Not on display. The whole city is their zoo. Bear and the Squirrel is still the 4D movie spectacular they're playing. Yeah, I like the park too. <sighs> RJ, thanks for stopping in. Have a good one. Christina Vinster is here. Good morning. Uh, Al is giving us the information here. Bronx Zoo, Central Park Zoo, Prospect Park Zoo, Queens Zoo, and the New York Aquarium, all part of the New York, New York Zoological Society. Zoological Society. I'm assuming they just brought that ice. <laughs> Otherwise, they'll melt soon. Isn't there a Staten Island Zoo also? Is that one part of it? Squirrel is hiking. I think they actually renovated recently the aquarium. I haven't been there in a long time either. Maybe commuter will give me some excuses to revisit some of these places. Oh, the Staten Island Zoo is not part of it. That's interesting. Another reason that Staten Island is not part of New York. Everyone always said it's part of Jersey. Maybe they're right. Maybe they're right. I mean, he's got three bridges that go into Jersey. He's got one that goes to Brooklyn. It's got no direct connection to Manhattan except the ferry, which doesn't count. Manny, hello, good morning. Jay Raymond with the ARS 200 from Buenos Aires. Hello, good morning, and thank you. Sport. Oh, Natural History, American Museum of Natural History is my favorite one. Favorite museum in New York. 
And Quinton, yes. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> mowed up the lawn here. Alright, we're at the mall. That's why it's free to get in. The ferry's still free. <laughs> oh, interesting, Pink, Miss Pink Toe. I guess it depends. Yeah, I mean, it all depends. If it's a, uh, if it's a one-off and you're only going once every few years, then I imagine the membership's not worth it. But if you go to all the zoos or all the parks or whatever that are included in the membership every year, then maybe. Yeah, there's a dog over there barking. I don't see it though. I must have gone to that museum when I was in London. But then again, I was in London in like 2001. They're all getting their ice deliveries at the same time. Three bags of ice in the park. Van shell. Not work. I almost said Bethesda Fountain. We're gonna get a drop in bit rate, I know it. Looks like it already happened. We got a whole production over here. Are those watermelons? I wonder if they're gonna eat those later. Did they say today everyone who's coming to the park workout bring your own watermelon? Bethesda. Oh, 
There's a turtle that keeps popping its head up over there. Adam's doing some turtle feeding. I was taking their watermelons up the stairs. A turtle and two cats. And you gotta open up the Romachek Zoo. The feeding zoo. Turtles really like hot dogs, huh? Now that's one food baby commuter hasn't had yet. Hmm. Well, the Bronx Zoo is the largest zoo in the U.S. Metropolitan area over 200 acres. I didn't know that. Now I'm here dropping some good facts. Janice, good morning. Bow Bridge. See the Dakota in the background there. Only those top, top apartments can see the Bow Bridge in the summer. And we could look at each other. And they could look down on me like the, the treatise that I am. Uh, hey, Angel, Mars and World Wild, a $10 super chat. I believe you, like me, are a Leo, and birthday wishes are in order for you. I read that you're many, many more. Hey, thank you, Angel. Much appreciated. I am a, a Leo, at least based on what humans have determined is an arbitrary evaluation of the positions of the stars, which have existed for billions of years before us. <laughs> but yes, thank you for that. I appreciate it. Ah, oh, you have volunteered at the Bronx Zoo for 18 years now. That's pretty awesome. Is that an easy, like, volunteering gig to get? Because I imagine if you like animals and you want to donate your time, that'd be a fun way to do it. But yes, my birthday is this month, and I appreciate that. All right, we're in the ramble. Adam has taken the position of Mighty Bull today, doing the planning. Ominously. Justin, good to see you again. Glad you're enjoying the park. Planes always seem to be taking the Central Park route these days. Ah, Sue, so, you know, we haven't seen Pieta in so long. She's doing all right. Open plumbing, I didn't know that. Central Park is around, what, 800 acres? About half the size of my estate. No, I'm kidding.
Yeah, you know, Adam, I'm not sure. Maybe she got called away for a bit. Remember, as we get close to the winter, a lot of our morning commutes are going to be in the darkness. Yeah, right open, Polly. Rail's back. I am the light. Oh, I forgot how to turn on my light. It's like this. No. I don't know. Oh, it's like that. <laughs> okay. Remember, the gimbal has a light. If I don't bring the snacks, they will eat my flesh. Ah, the mighty bull has made it in the virtual flesh. Good morning. Archway. Did I make the wrong turn again? Did is it? I know. I think I'm okay. Those are crickets, and it's still a little warm for me. But the temperature seems to be finally raining itself in for the foreseeable future. We'll see. I still haven't had any good opportunities to make any thunderstorm recordings this this summer. Did they miss Pink Toe? I didn't realize they cleaned up the dedication plaque. That's good. There's a guy in a red shirt over there. He stuck out to me immediately. See him? Someone's playing the goose game. Yoshi tomorrow, hello. And then we got billionaires row in the distance. I feel like the camera is a little cloudy, I don't know. And nothing good to wipe it with. Sharon Rollins, good morning. Now we're at 710. Taking a pause. The other way, not so much. Just the bubbling green. Let me see something. Can I will this, will this do anything? I don't know. Mm, no. Okay. Shelly, good morning. All right, let's get out of the park. I'm done with elevation changes. Patrice, good morning. Pea soup. Yeah, soon you'll be seeing the, the Central Park Challenge on TikTok, where people have to eat bowls of the green water from this uh, pool here. Oh, 
That's a rat. Now we gotta dodge no, cyclists until we can get across. Um, I don't know if you know the exercise that we can do. Oh, we got runners going both ways, so it makes it a little harder to uh, dodge everyone. Okay. Well, the gimbal is doing all the work in terms of making it seem steady. I'm not like walking without a bounce, if that's what it looks like. Zanea, good morning. Angel, no trips planned. No trips planned. People should try those life straws on the uh, Central Park water. You know those straws? Uh, they're supposed to eliminate much of the negative stuff from water. They should test that on Central Park water. A camping tool. Angel, you're going anywhere? Still one of my favorite uh, oak trees. I don't think it's super humid right now, but it's humid enough. My back is definitely sweaty. Yeah, 67%, that'll do it. I wonder what the lowest humidity we've seen on this uh, stream has been. Yeah, it is, Adam. Well, hopefully this is the last we'll have of that for a while. Oops. Okie doke. We're out of the park. American Museum of Natural History is over here. Highly recommended by me. Is it not that humid down under? during the summers. Car humidity. Yeah, there's something about New York humidity in the summer. It just hits different.
Maybe 84th Street, we'll see. to uh across here 84th street oh garbage truck oh we've seen this town home before but let's go see it again i wonder if the price has moved since the last time we walked by here Yeah, I don't know what our streaming situation is going to look like next week. I am technically off. But Mrs. Commuter didn't get off. Couldn't get off. So I may still do some streams and I may even do a little work. We'll see. It's a pretty big townhome. Number 9 West 84th Street. Number 9 West 84. If you want to look it up again. I know, I know we walked by it before. Eric Van Cleve with the $5 super sticker. Thank you, Eric. Much appreciated. That's one way to look at it, Michael. There's even a second garbage truck up ahead. <laughs> he just throws them onto the cars. <laughs> I guess it is light recyclable bags, but <laughs> interesting. Willis, good morning. Janice, glad you're enjoying. That will work, Christian. <laughs> Kind of like mini sunflowers. Once again, it's planning, listening, working, watching, and living. Living strong. Kind of precise, that's a good thing. Important. Get the nectar of life in you. Night out with a K, thank you for joining. Being a bee likes New York best in the fall. Everyone's got their uh, favorite seasons. I like the transitions of seasons. I like that the, by the time you get sick of one season, another one is just around the corner. At least that's uh, kind of how it is for me. Oh man, I missed the Joan Rivers quote on the Lincoln YC info hub. I don't know what like their official name is. Link NYC stations, Link NYC hub, Link NYC access points. Thirteen mil for nine West Eighty Fourth. Mm. Mm. Have a good one. Thanks again for the birthday wishes. 
I'm not there yet, but I am this one. Yes. Link NYC. Something or others. Everywhere's a red light. Call an ambulance. But not for me. Is Barnes and Noble still around? Yeah, there's still a few. I think the one on Fifth Avenue is still there and 40 something street, the one by Union Square is still there. I don't really know where the others are. Off the top of my head. Could be Ambrose, could be. I also notice when they change up the timing of them too. Like when it's very early in the morning, I always walk the same pace, which is breakneck fast. <laughs> and I could tell if the lights stop lining up correctly. I think cyclists could tell also. Today too, my least favorite. I hate x-rays at the dentists. You know, they just choose these devices with the sharpest corners. Why don't we uh, get some extras of your teeth? Minor side effect other than the radiation, that's slicing up your mouth. And then we'll follow it up with a bowl of Captain Crunch cereal. I prefer if you got Heelys. Gosh, those are dangerous. They're a good way to learn how to do the splits while also tearing all your tendons and ligaments. Andrea Stevens, good morning. The only reason I say Captain Crunch is because it's like known for cutting up the roof of your mouth, right? <laughs> At least what I remember. It's been a while since I had it. I don't think so. Not many of them are. Ninetieth Street, we're at seven twenty-six in the morning. Okay, ten more blocks ish. Jay Bear, good morning. Narelle, thanks for stopping in. Have a good one. Fang, just get that special cereal uh, that's made for orange juice. Well, you have like lactose-free milk these days too, right? Nah, 
magic milk. Yeah, it's still too hot and humid, but I think all this cumulative heat and working has added up too. Ambrose has to get rid of a spotted lanternfly. Oh, they don't work for you, thanks. So yeah, you gotta go for that orange juice cereal. <laughs> oh, was that a limited time cereal? You can't really get that anymore? I guess you gotta make your own. Sean T, good morning, or afternoon, for you. Quick check at Trader Joe's. No cars in the window, so that's good. You tried the lactate milk, didn't go, didn't do it for you? I don't think so, Paul. That Trader Joe's is the one where a car drove through the, uh, the doors. That's a good morning. I've not tried keto cereal, no. Uh, now all this talk about milk has reminded me of that Who's Line skit. I think all you gotta do is search for Who's Lines in anyway milk, and you'll find it. Okay, cool Bunny's going for a chocolate chip for breakfast. Why not? Rod Hiltz, hello. Keto cereal is 10 bucks a box. Ooh, bucks a box, I like that. Box, box. Man, they, they make those, the pictures of those sandwiches look really, really appetizing. Still working on this plaza, huh? Hey, weren't you like nursing a Levain cookie for a while, Adam? Tom Tom, hello. Boop. All right, you got at least three of these uh, new bikes. Are any of them available for rent? I'm not gonna rent it, I'm just curious because this one's not available. Let's look at this one. Ooh, this one's available. This one's not available. All right, getting close to the mattress store, guys, so you know. Let's, uh, let's see how we're doing here. Right, Adam, pretty much anything, yeah. You gotta, you gotta stay on top of it. Ambrose, you know, you gotta chip away at the iceberg. No Cinnabon. Yeah, what's up with that, Adam? The store is there, waiting for you to take it. Time to go back to the Mega Millions. Gertz is here. Good morning. All right. Again, buffer warning coming up. Yep, they're ready to start. I bet it's that balcony with all the flowers. They're trying to hide what they're doing. Or it's a mattress store, I don't know. But we always get buffering right around here. There's always a lapse in service. Maybe somebody's very anti Verizon here, I don't know. I think this is a Paulonia. See how big the leaves are? Or no, this might be the velvet 
Velvet weed. Maybe it's velvet weed. I don't know. Somebody will find out. Tamara, thanks you too. Is it edible? I don't know. All I know is the incredible edible egg. Who who was that advertisement for? Like, was there a very specific company? Or are all the egg people in on it? The incredible edible egg. Ah, it's for the egg man. Dr. Robotnik. Everyone who drives a Volvo, Gert, not others. I don't know. That shit was horrible. Sure, 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 sure. Uh, get some expensive apartments at 808 Columbus. Scipio, good morning. Carl C, thanks for stopping in. Don't worry, we're pretty much done here anyway. 8.05, Columbus Ave's another, uh, another apartment building that's probably very pricey around here. Oh, that plant is called Amber Valletta. Interesting. I'll have to look up to look up that later. Look that up later. It's very specific. I'll just cross real quick. Nadim, hello. All right, let me take my fence seat. We're on the fence about many issues here. Put in this fence seat. Margie, good morning. Ah, made it to the end. What time is it? I feel like it's later than it should be. Ah, uh, 7:35. Yeah, let's uh, let's wrap this up quick. I want to get to uh, get to work so I can be done with it. You know, one of those things you just gotta power through. That's the plan, anyway. All right, everyone. Yeah, thanks for stopping in today. Always appreciate the super chats and super stickers. PayPal, Patreon, YouTube members. Thank you. Subscribe. Mail truck. Making a lot of bouncing noises. Subscribers, thank you. Non-subscribers, if you're listening, thank you too. Think about uh, subscribing, give us a thumbs up, if you want. Up to you, no pressure. You can think about egg commercials as you do it. And JG Wentworth too, 877 cash now. Or you can leave off the last S for savings. Many options you got, many options. Mods, thank you, good to see you Adam. Angel is in for a minute. And yeah, I think that uh, that about covers it. So have a great rest of Wednesday, Thursday, Friday if you're on the other side of the world. And we'll be back on Friday morning, New York time, about 6 to 6.10 in the morning, depending on uh, factors. <laughs> 
So until until then, have a good one. All right. Bye.